Good morning. This is Saturday morning, uh, March the 4th, 2023. And Father God gave me a word during my prayer time. Uh, and he is wanting us to pay attention to our lifestyles so that he's able to deliver uh, everything that we're seeking and asking him for. Um, and so this is what he spoke. He says, um, I'm wanting you to pray in the areas of commitment and responsibilities. Many of my people lack responsibility over their lifestyle and their actions. I'm calling many today to commit their ways before me and allow my leading them into all truth. It is time out for pity parties and selfish thinking. I'm Father God. I know all things. I'm not surprised about anything. I'm an all-seeing God who sees all. I want to I want to prepare others for this coming event in the form of release. I'm releasing my authority and my provision to send them forward into these areas of concern. I have much work to complete in this hour before the next cycle of events come about. There must be change in the hearts of my people over sacrifice and commitment. There's too much activity that leads nowhere. I'm sending many into the fields to speak to the hearts of this ungodly activity. I desire a pure heart. I desire for my people to worship me in spirit and in truth. I'm calling all to see my glory and how I'm moving to change the, the course of many things. My bride, I desire without spot or wrinkle. I desire purity. Keep in mind that I am willing to do all that I have spoken, but it will come with a price. Commitment to me, commitment to pray and seek me. I desire pure sacrifice of praise. I'm looking for true love, true commitment. This is what I will accept and all I desire. I will give to my people. All I desire, I will give to my people. Seek me while I am able to be found. Acknowledge me and allow my hand to rest on your lives. This is what I will accept. This is what I desire. And then he says for me to pray for my people, continue to pray. And so this is the word for Saturday and what he is wanting to release to his people that we all come uh, uh, on one accord uh, with one love, one heart, and, and one purpose before Father God. He is wanting to release so many blessings to us. And I have acknowledged and understand over the years, even for myself, when I have not been obedient to Father God, and I have not allowed his um, fullness in my heart, uh, and being committed fully, I see where I have missed a lot of blessings because of it. And now I'm understanding that it has to be Father God's way only, and that my lifestyle has to be a lifestyle of purity and, and love. It has to be a lifestyle of uh, commitment and obedience. Um, now that I'm a lot older, I wish I have, had learned this about 20 years ago. I think I would be so much further along. But we have to, to commit our lives to Father God. And we have to lay our will down and allow his full will and purpose over us. And this is something that he keeps bringing up. He keeps uh, repeating it. And I think it's because we get laxed in our walk with him and thinking that we can lack off of prayer and um, uh, commitment to seek him and to praise him, to bring worship, a sacrifice of praise. You know, we, we lack off of that. And God says, no, there's no time to lack. We have to stay full hearted before Father God and committed before him in doing what he desires. 
Yes, we can do the things that we that's pleasing to us as far as, as uh, living in the earth. But our lifestyles and our heart has to line up with the fruits of the Spirit. Have to. He is not giving his best to those that don't love him and that don't worship him and that don't desire him. He's not going to give his best. So the encouragement this uh, this uh, Saturday is give your best before God. Give your heart completely. Give your a sacrifice of praise and worship. Allow him to know that you love him unconditional, whether he bless you or not. This will open up many doors into the heart of God for him to release his best to every one of us. And so that is the word for Saturday. And I just give uh, Father God all the praise and the glory and asking him to continue to bless each and every one of you. And until the next video, I just pray blessings.